Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shavon Draws. Uh, today's video, we're going to be painting a beautiful black girl who is mixed with Japanese and black um, race. So, first things first, I, um, I would always tell you, you can draw along with me if you like. Um, we always use a thick brush, so when we line out the art, we don't have to focus on details early, early, early on into the painting process or the sketching process. Also, it is very important to always rotate, um, rotate or flip your drawing left to right so you can see what needs to be fixed, what needs to be lifted, taken down, resized and whatnot. Um, with all the craziness that's going on in the world today with coronavirus, um, different cases of other viruses and um, the Black Lives Matter movement which I definitely hold dear to my heart and I'm definitely a supporter of the Black Lives Matter because I am black, my family is black and I have a lot of black friends and I believe that Black Lives Matter. Um, I always do two lines or three lines in lining. It depends on how I decide to draw and if, I, if I'm not satisfied with the first lining and, and I want to make some changes, I would lower the opacity and create another drawing and just kind of like perfect it and tweak it a little bit just to get it the way I want it to be. Okay. So you saw for the first lining I did the hairstyle was the part in the middle and the hair flowing down and in the second line you will see just now in a, in a little bit that I did not go ahead with that first hairstyle. Oh yeah and also I, um, I, then the first lining um, I wanted to do put an umbrella as a prop for the, the painting and I was like Mm, I don't think I need an umbrella. I don't think I need a prop. I think the painting itself could stand out on its own and be very interesting because later on in the video you will see um, the method I, I went ahead with in coloring the painting would be to use um, a three color method. I went onto a website um, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, if I find it, I'll link it in the description or I'll comment it up on top here on the screen. Um, I, it helps you, basically the, the website helps you pick colors and that are coordinating, that are complementing each other. So you can just go ahead and hit shuffle or hit select um, palette and it gives you different options. So whichever option you like, you select the color and it, it, it's really 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 nice and it has a wide variety of colors and themes so you can go ahead and check out our website I'll link it as I said um, the lining process was really really nice for me I felt really soothing just to line because this idea came to my head you know a beautiful girl and I wanted to change the size of the paper the shape of the paper the pat, um, canvas normally I do squares to fit Instagram but this time I was like I want to do a much longer um, shot yeah so th that's why you see it's a bit um, cropped in the and long Thank you. 
so guys i'm so sorry but my tablet battery died and i lost all the painting video of the skin and the, the hair and everything and the glowing but this is what i um was able to come back to after the tablet shut down on me and i lost every single thing i'm so angry because i had the website and the palette that, that i was using it was all there but i lost it it just didn't see it <sighs> i hate when that happens because it robs you guys of the way from seeing the way i actually paint but yeah hopefully um, in my future videos i will try my best to <laughs> keep my tablet charged while I paint so that won't happen but there are other factors that can play in with me losing footage but I'll work very hard to try my best and not lose footage for you guys because it's for you guys okay it's also for me but it's more for you guys to enjoy as I document myself and the process I went from my first video to my recent video which is a video um idea that i have that i'm going to be doing soon enough but i'm thinking i have to look at the dates and align everything and then put the video out oh i just want to take the time to let you guys know that if you guys want to see other paintings that are not posted on youtube you can check out my instagram i will put it on the screen and my facebook i'll also link that on the screen yeah Doing the hair was definitely creating the baby hair and then the baby baby hairs because to me it looks so like it looks realistic even though the painting is not 100% realistic it still looks realistic and it, it was very much fun to be painting the details of the hair the little hairs and just the way it looked and I was pretty excited trust me <laughs> I was very very excited You know when you're painting and you you like the first hairstyle color you pick and then you're like oh, maybe, I, maybe I should change it. I changed it to brown, I changed it to purple and some other colors but I didn't get to capture it. I um, decided I'll just stay with um, black because it fits her 
Um, I wanted to put a butterfly, but then I was like, mm, I have to stay true to me, not adding props. So the only thing that I added was an earring, and I think the earring, like, if I had to paint this over, I wouldn't include the earring, but it kind of gives her more of a, a, a character, it makes her feel more real, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's just the painting of the earring. I always get intimidated when it comes to adding details to the hair, especially when the hair is fully black. I'm always like, oh gosh, I'm a bit hesitant to go in and add details because it will be a lot of work. But then I got this little shortcut <laughs> of just adding some highlights, some white highlights, and then lowering the opacity of the layer, and then going and create another layer, and adding some brighter, uh, more sharp highlights more like to look like curl, curls that's gonna make it and then lowering the opacity a bit okay so the first layer for the highlight was five I lowered it to five for the opacity and the second um, highlight I did I think I left the opacity at six yeah because I don't want it to be too bright because you can see it, it doesn't really look nice so until you, you have to find the fit, the perfect fit for the opacity. So we have come to the end of the video and this is the edited version. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys. Bye.